This is how the filament showed up here. No box around it, which is okay because yeah, we don't want to waste cardboard. They just tape together the, the filaments that you order. In my case, five spools of PLA. I asked them to also send me some ABS or TPU. TPU in the European Union, they only have the black version, so I wish they had more TPU. Let's just see in a few sample prints how this GTEC PLA works for me. Until now, I think I only had like the black TPU from GTEC, which was okay. And the nice touch is that they supply a large enough plastic bag so you can throw it in the bag after usage because it comes, of course, it comes with a dry, dry bag and vacuumed. But once you break it up, you want to protect it from water. Which leads me to my next item here, the filament dry box from Fix Dry. They supplied it for free. I was a bit hesitant if I really need the dry box. Let me know what are your experiences. Do you need it? I mean, the number one reason, to be honest, why I wanted it is because the side spool mount of the Ender 3v3 is a bit flimsy. I don't like it. So that's the more elegant solution, how to have a spool storaged with the additional benefit of being dried if you needed to be dry. But if it's just stored there, it can conveniently print outside from this. Okay, of course, this device is really easy to operate. Just turn it on. You can change the destination temperature, Celsius, and let's say I want to cook it with 60 degrees. That's the actual humidity. I'm not sure how accurate this is. And down there, you can set the amount of hours for this heater and fan to work. Say four hours, 60 degree, and it just does its job. There is a little air vent up there, and also you will have warm air coming out of those holes, but you shouldn't cover them all naturally. The filament changes, if you want to print out of this dryer box, are a bit fiddly. If you don't change filaments too often, this could actually work. And regarding how to print two printers with these egg seats here, the red TPU filament is used on the end of 3v3, and the black one goes into this bowden, which is exiting here. <laughs> Going up to here into this spot. It's a bit of a <laughs> weird installation, maybe. But yesterday I had issues with a heavy spool here on this. I had a lot of vibration on this door. So I wanted to re reduce the stress of this here and try this installation. So I will be printing PLA out of this box and yeah, just see how it works. This could be the filament dry box feeding solution. Okay, let's try this silk PLA. Looks nice. And we already have shiny blue or silk blue coming out. This already looks really good here on the plate. Loaded the object there. And with the most current FlashForge firmware and a new Oco slicer, finally the upload and print will work. And we will have 2 hours 37. Oh, and it actually doesn't work. Megabytes of upload. Would it work? <laughs> okay, now on the second attempt, for some reason it completed, so it's still a bit shaky. Here we have the time lapse set up, and he will do his thing. And I just remembered that I swapped the plate. If you swap plates, you should do the calibration run, else I don't run the calibration bad leveling each time. But if you forget this, you can just cancel a network job and then restart it because it is stored locally here and check the auto bed leveling option. Now he can do his thing. And while this object prints over there, I show you the other filaments that I got from GTEC. So it's a kind of a sponsored review. They sent me five ten dollar filaments. GTEC really cheap PLA, but I liked the various colors that they have. There was like this aqua blue, a transparent PLA, black and white. I feel like black and white or maybe gray PLA is the most useful that you can have in your collection of PLAs. Nicely packaged, even though there's some vacuum removed already. And if I use them, I store them in one of those plastic boxes. But other than this, the Flash Forge is really a reliable machine. Maybe it's just the settings or it's the hardware. 
this thing here has way better quality than the Creality things. Uh, sorry to say this Creality, but maybe I need to tune the settings. I even dialed down the speed on the K1 Max quite a lot. And I was, I mean, the part was okay, but I was not as happy with the print quality as I was in the flash. So <laughs> as soon as flash comes out with a 30 by 30 centimeter larger print uh, enclosed one, oh, it will be a no brainer to look on the flash forge printers. And they are really cheap. I mean, this is 400 maximum $500 and it's really a good machine. Check out my review. On the perch line, magic happens now. What a nice surprise to come back here and time lapse still works. Print job looks really promising. Amazing. Can't wait to see this finished. It really came out nice. Look at that. Articulated whale. Everything works. Fine. Yeah, it really looks nice. In real life it looks a bit more purple. Using both these printers, the K1 Max, with actually three prints at once. That's the power of a larger build plate. To print some functional parts to see for you guys if this totally stock filament works nice. And the flash once again for a beauty object. That's how it looks when I monitor it here on my monitor. On the flash, I just used the URL for the cam, which is, yeah, you see it in my, my updated flash info video. And this is K1 Max with mainsail. I think this is a must for 3D printers to have a good cam. Okay, the K1 Max produced this functional part. Still, also with lower acceleration values, this visible artifacts yeah but functional heavy part i got the support away nicely and now to the cool one the hand the flash torch Ooh. Mm. this looks really nice it's coming off the blades really really nice Oh, yeah, we gotta love those printing place things. And with these little screws here, you can kind of fix the, the joints. So that it's not such a loose hand. And this is exactly how I figured this hand should be used. Upside down and attached to a self-made Scardis pegboard and being able to carry different things by adjusting the fingers make it look even cooler. Okay, looks like my funny installation is working here with the bowden up to there. And your print should be finished soon for the next review. This is a spoiler.